Hey guys, so uh, today I didn't really have that great of a video planned for uh, either lifting or rock climbing, so I figured uh, I'd make a video on Blocus. So, just hopefully be able to teach you guys some tips and tricks, uh, just like the core ideas of the game and uh, what you can do to be the best. So, the first biggest concept is play your big pieces early and play your awkward pieces early. So, this includes things like um, this piece, the cross is a little goofy, uh, W can be hard, and um, also this, uh, where is it, this kind of janky one. Um, so that's just literally level one. The quicker you can get out of your pieces, the better. The next thing is um, you want to get to the middle as soon as possible. So I would just kind of the way I almost always start is I start with the W since it's awkward. Uh, and it, it allows the greatest, uh, it covers the greatest distance from corner to corner. So you get, you know, three over and three up and then... Same thing with this one, three over, three up, and then um, lastly, so those, if I'm not mistaken, I actually haven't played this in a hot minute, but those are the only two pieces that go from corner to corner, because if you go here, yeah, uh, so then I just play anything that goes, you know, three by two. And then you could play this to cut off a lot of stuff. Or um, the cross also takes up a lot of space. Uh, and there's a lot of corners to play off of. So this can be pretty uh, hard to defeat from other people that are playing. And then, so that's kind of, I guess, level two of skill. And the next thing I kind of want to talk about is blocking. So let's just set up this uh, scenario here with, um, let's just say red versus green. We'll say both of you uh, did the good start, actually. And uh, we're both in the middle. And you're over here with the L, the W... Some other pieces that you just uh, playing around with. So, let's say uh, you're red and it's your turn to play. What you want to do is cut off the most corners. So, a lot of people, I don't know, their mind just goes to like blocking the front. But if you kind of analyze, it's hard to visualize where he can play, where he or she can play off of. But play off this corner, this corner, this corner. This corner, this corner, this or yeah, sorry, this corner, this corner, uh, this corner, this, and you know, all the way down, all the way, all any corners and where there's not a piece um, adjacent to it. Uh, that includes walls, obviously. So, what I would try to do is red if it was my move is play a something like this. You could use either, you know. A, a straight four you could use uh something like this to cut off this corner too actually i'm gonna i'm gonna take back my strategy you can cut off the most corners with this piece right here so you can you take it with this corner this corner and this corner so now he can only play he, along here I'm, I'm just gonna say he i don't it, he or she they uh could play along here or here. Um, so, and then I kind of want to take away this side of the board, right? So, let's say they play something, I don't know, like this. So now, corners to contend with would be here and here, right? If I'm trying to cut off this. So, uh, I'd say, first off, I kind of want to cut off this, because if I can... If I play something like this, yes, I cut off this corner, but now he has 
there's so many different pieces you can use to kind of get into this territory right here, right? If I can block off this corner earlier, he, they'll have to uh, spend a lot more time curving around. So basically that means I need to play a piece here. And ideally I want that piece to extend as much as I can that way so that they have trouble getting around it. So right here, I'll, I'll play this. Um, and what this forces him to do, if he wants to get out through this, he has to play the one. And that is just super, super, super valuable uh, throughout the whole game. So uh, now they would probably see this as a pretty big threat, uh, cutting him off, or uh, he or she off. So you're probably going to be looking at something like this. Uh, if this piece was still in the game, you, you might see this curving around so that they cut off because they want to cut off a corner too. Um, well, I guess they do that with this. So any anything with this L shape is probably one of the best things to do in this scenario. So let's say they play that. Next thing I want to do, again, I want to keep cutting off that avenue. I, I want to keep them from getting over here. And every, every piece they have to play is a response to my piece. It's less they get to do their own thing and more... Um, that we get to develop. So I'd say the next piece is probably this because we want to go this way, but we can't play any here. So I would personally probably play the L here. And uh, in response, they'd want to, again, cut off this probably uh, and try to extend this way. So maybe something like this. Um, the L would be good. Um, anything along those lines. Uh, this could actually also be a very good move. Um, that way you get far and cut off that corner down. Well, actually, never mind. That's not relevant at the moment. But, uh, yeah, something like this. Um, and then, again, I want to wanna cut off this section. So it's, it's really hard to get through that. So you want to kind of look into the future, maybe uh, test out this. If I play this... They can play here and then put a two. Um, that's okay. If I had this piece, I'd play that again. Cut off this corner, forcing them to take that up. But at um, the moment, I do not have that. So uh, let's just play something like that. That doesn't seem too crazy. And then, I don't know. They'll play something like this, maybe. Um, maybe something like this. Something to get drive into here, right? So in response, you're again going to want to cut off this corner. So now, green is in really big trouble here if they don't get out with this single right here because we have all of this space and we can compete with them. Um, so right now, look at this. The green cannot play anything to get through here just because of just the kind of complexities that are going on here. The only corners they can play off of this are here and here. And then also, if you were to somehow get like it, pretend there's stuff that develops here and eventually ends up getting well, i guess you'd have to play the four uh, but eventually the fort gets played here it, it also can't do anything and you can't play anything along that great so i've effectively just cut off green from coming through so now if i were in green position if you realize that you're really screwed here you're gonna play probably that immediately if you don't uh red could play uh, something maybe like this to where you'd have to play the specific T piece. Um, that doesn't really be, it, it's kind of, it's, oh, sorry for the camera. It's kind of difficult to play here around this dot because you, you can't play anything here because it connects to your pieces. So I'd, I would personally play something like that. And now they have to play the T. Oh, but the T is gone. So now they have to actually use a three piece or. The, um, I can find it. I have to use this to get through with the dot. Anyways, um, you're now up because the dot is out of play. Uh, it's just such a powerful piece, being able to transition anywhere. And from there, you can probably imagine how the game would go. Red would develop stuff on this side, and green wouldn't be able to develop on this side. Um, and then red would just be up so much material that it would kind of be over for green. So 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one as always.